I know. Of all the couples we know. I know. God, Gabe, we introduced them. God, you're right. What do you think of the Shiraz? Astringent. Mm, I think so, too. Can you imagine what that would be like? I mean, you spend your entire adult life with someone, and it turns out that that person, the one person you completely entrusted your fate to, is an imposter. Could you imagine? Now, wait a minute. We don't know the whole story. What is there to know? He was duplicitous. He cheated on her. Yeah, yeah, but it can't be as simple as that, Karen. You know that. It never is. That snake. Honey, you're talking about someone who up until like two hours ago you thought was the salt of the earth. I know. I was wrong. I cannot believe I could have been so wrong about a person. I mean, have I ever been so wrong about someone? God, what does it say about my judgment? Karen, come on. He's the same person you've known and loved for years. No, he's not. He couldn't be. I'm beginning to think he was never that person. Honey. Maybe he never existed at all. Come on. Maybe he was a figment of our collective imaginations. He's very seductive, your friend. <laughs> he, had us convinced, he had us convinced he was true blue. He really did. You know, what a simpatico guy. Decent, loving, hardworking, a good father. He is all those things, so he made a transgression. A transgression? It's still the same old Tom. This is more than a mere transgression. I mean, how could I ever look him in the eye again? I, I can't, after what he did to Beth and the kids. So what do we do, abandon him? He's my oldest friend. I don't expect you to do anything. Do whatever you want. I'm just saying I can't look at him anymore. Maybe he's really in trouble. Maybe he is. What kind of friends would we be if we went ahead and punished him? I got a feeling Beth's doing a pretty damn good job punishing him herself. She is the injured party. So what does that mean, she's the injured party, so we can only stay friends with her? I'm telling you, I can't be friends with him anymore. You can be friends with whomever you like. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, someone who conducts his life like this is not to be trusted. You are so strict. I am not strict. I resent that. That's one of those words. OK, I'm no, sorry. I'm principled. You can't fault me for being principled. But doesn't forgiveness enter into it for you? Or are you too principled for that? Some things are not forgivable. This is not forgivable. Boy. No, no I'm sorry. That's too easy. Actions have consequences. <sighs> Remind me not to get on your bad side. You do something like this, I'm telling you right now you are out of here. Really? You better believe it. None of that sleeping in the den shit. But it's for the kids' sake. That's what she said. I can understand that. If he is going to decimate his family, he does not deserve to sleep under the same roof. I'm sorry. But it's for the kids. That's a privilege. He's lost that privilege. Wow. You are really tough. Don't be facetious. You know, there has got to be a price for doing what he did. This neither nor situation. It just won't do. I don't know how she can tolerate that. I would just throw him the hell out. So, if in a moment of weakness, I sleep with a checkout girl or something, oh, oh, oh. Um, and I'm foolish enough to confess to you, <laughs> beg for your forgiveness, you tell me what, to go fuck myself? That's right. <laughs> you mean we couldn't still be friends? <laughs> no way, are you kidding? <laughs> you mean we wouldn't even be civil with one another? At least I know now where you stand. As if you had any doubt. <sighs> you know what? Thing is, you never know what couples are like when they're alone. You never do. You know that. There's no way of knowing. It's all very mysterious. There goes the vineyard. Oh, God, you're right. How would we work that? Well, we couldn't. What, we'd have Beth come with the kids for two weeks and then she would leave and Tom would take over? That's ridiculous. It sounds awful. Oh, what a mess. It's like a death, isn't it? Mm. Why were you so quiet tonight? What, what do you mean? Well, when Beth was telling us, you were so silent. I wasn't silent. I was shocked. I was stunned. You let me do most of the talking. Well, that's not unusual. <laughs> no, I mean it. You do do most of the talking. I do not. Yes, you do. You generally have more to say on any given subject than I do. That's why we work well together. You talk, I write, you edit me. You're evading. Well, I'm not. Evading what? I think what Beth was telling us. You know, I think it was very hard for you. 
Well, of course it was hard. I mean, no one wants to hear about his closest friends going through something like this. No, that's not what I mean. I mean, don't get defensive. I just think it's all this marital talk. It hits close to home. I think it made you very uncomfortable. Made me uncomfortable? Yes. Well, like I said, it's not the most pleasant of topics. Don't play dumb with me, Gabe. What? You're playing dumb. No, I'm not. I don't know what you're talking about. You do this, you know? Whenever I want you to talk to me about something like this, something important. Oh, great. What are you, what are you trying to pick a fight with me now or what? No, Gabe. What do you want me to say? That the whole thing scares the shit out of me? Yes! Well, it does, okay? It does me too. I mean, you think you're safe on solid ground and then all of a sudden the earth cracks open. Who the hell is that? Oh shit, you're not going to believe it. I think it's Tom. You're kidding. It is Tom. He's supposed to be in Washington. Well, he's not. He just pulled into our driveway. Tell him I went to bed. I don't want to see him. No, Karen, you can't do that. He's not here to see me anyway. He's here to see you. He's your friend. That's not true. You love Tom. No, I thought I did. Karen, please don't leave me alone with him. Hey, Tom! Come on in. Hi, hi. Um, hi. I, I know this is crazy. That's all right. It's, it's late and everything. I, I just had to see you guys. It's okay. I know, I know. Here's another fine mess I've gotten myself into, huh? I'll say. <laughs> hi. It's okay, Karen. You can hug me. I'm, I'm not contagious. <laughs> Thanks. Thought Beth said you were in Washington.